is this for a job description? A six-month contract, flex hours, live in accommodation, and a salary of $150,000. Want to know the best perk of all? It all takes place on a remote island off the coast of Australia, and all you have to do is discover it. There's no question why it's being called the best job in the world, and would you believe a Canadian is close to snagging it? The past three months have been a nail-biter for these three Canadians. The minutes leading up to who makes the cut are even worse. Who thought trying to get a job would be this intense? But then again, there aren't many jobs like this one. If you take tourism Queensland's word for it, there is only one job like it. No surprise then that there has been a flood of applicants. Try 34,000 applicants from around the world who had to submit a one minute video of themselves to explain why they are the most qualified to spend six months in beautiful Queensland, Australia, exploring the islands of the Great Barrier Reef, going to luxury spas, snorkeling, oh, and cleaning the pool, all for a salary of $120,000 Canadian. I live in Vancouver. It's one of the few cities in the world where you can play golf, go skiing, and hit the beach all in one day. That's crazy, I'm on it. All in caretaker. If you told me that I could get out of here, I go. Take me to the island, set my spirit free. Meet three of the candidates, Eric, Melissa, and Mitch, who are among the seven lucky Canadians who made the top 50. Only one last barrier till they reach the Great Barrier Reef. The top 16 get flown to Queensland for a face-to-face -face interview, and they've been on pins and needles for weeks, waiting to find out if they've made it. Did you ever think you have a chance of making it this close? Um, no, I mean, I, I obviously like hoped and dreamed I'd get it, and when I applied at first, it was sort of just something that was like fun, and I, I knew I could do it with my friends, and it'd be a great time, and something I could have on a portfolio or anything, you know, just like a little bonding experience. Mitch Moffat, a biology student at the University of Guelph and part-time performer, decided that he needed a little help from his friends if he stood a chance. Take me to the island, set my spirit free. It works out perfectly with my biology degree. I love going on adventures, my communications fan hi there. And I'm telling you right now that I'm your man. I feel like I'm being serenaded. <laughs> At the very last minute, I realized, like, I have to do this. We can do it, I know we can. I sent out a Facebook message the night before, being like, please come out Saturday morning and film this with me. Like, it'll be amazing, it'll be a fun time, and, and I'd appreciate it so much. So Saturday morning, I came downtown and just sort of waited, crossed my fingers that, like, people would show up, and, and luckily, like, all those people showed up. About an hour away in quaint Stratford, Ontario, Mitch's competition, Melissa Shank, monitors the online voting results every day. A part-time local weather personality, Melissa used her own production company to transform herself into the island caretaker superhero. When I heard about the best job in the world, I was actually at work just about to do the weather and the story came on and I thought, wow, this truly is, I thought I had the best job, but I think this could be even better. How are you going to separate yourself from everyone else. We had to do something a little bit different to, to put ourselves out there so that's where we came up with the character of the island caretaker and uh, and it's funny because now on the street people will stop and say how's the best job going you know and they kind of do the little um, the, the, the caretaker persona with it. I decided to start doing some research on the reef. Fish are friends. And across the country in Vancouver Eric Rolfson wanted to put his knowledge of finding Nemo to the test with his bid for the world's best job. But he quickly realized there is still a job to do. I come from a writing background, so first and foremost, if you're blogging, you have to be able to write. Um, a long time as a journalist, so I've spent a lot of time observing things and describing them for people. A husband and father of two, he knows if he gets it, it's not only his life that would change. They're pretty excited. My wife is excited. For the folks at Tourism Queensland, having a worldwide response to this is like hitting the jackpot. It's one that is really humbling to have this many people so interested about the Great Barrier Reef 
which is so near and dear to us. Of the top Canadians, three are from Ontario, three are from British Columbia, and one from Edmonton, Alberta. So does a Canuck stand the chance of actually getting it? I think the Canadians really showcased the adventurous spirit that Canadians are known for all around the world. We uh, received some fantastic entries. So now, more than three months and 34,000 people later, then there were 16. But will there be a Canadian or Canadians in the mix? I don't know, I'm hoping I get a call. I don't know. <laughs> We're there with Mitch for the agonizing wait, and then when he receives the news. I didn't make it. Oh no. Dang. Oh no, he didn't make it. It just says, unfortunately, I'm writing to you with bad news. And what about Stratford's Melissa Shank? I have no idea who these people are. Clearly not the news she wanted to hear. I'm okay with it. I looked at the list and I think it's really interesting. It's completely opposite to what I had thought it would be or who I thought would make it. But congratulations to the 16 of the top 15 plus player in the wild card for getting in. Surely there must be one. Vancouver? I got it. I'm going to Queensland. That's right. Eric Rolfson has made it to the Sweet 16, the only Canadian to make it. I was starting to think, oh, maybe it's not going to happen for me. And then my phone rang, and it was the uh, Minister of Tourism for Queensland. Um, and he said, uh, Eric, got some good news for you, mate. Eric and the remaining 15 now have about a month to really show why they each deserve the best job in the world. Proof that the hardest part about this job is getting it.